This is Deepak Allure from Jack B. I'm going to demonstrate Presto mashing up Salesforce and website analytics. Let's talk a little bit about the use case we want to look at today is one that we actually use in our marketing and sales department. Jess works in our marketing department on Jack Head Sales. What they want to know is to figure out who is visiting our site that's not already an opportunity as listed in our Salesforce CRM system and who's an opportunity that's already been identified and what's their activity on our website. And in addition to that, we also want to identify if there's any new opportunities that's coming through the website that have not been already logged into our Salesforce system. So this gives a way for sales to capture uh, and uh, reach out to new prospects and customers coming to our website. The overall goal is to improve our sales and marketing effectiveness. The problem today is that the data for these two types of information is in different format, comes in different places. Uh, the corporate website produces the analytics that goes to our marketing folks and the sales folks use the CRM system um, so, uh, uh, in Salesforce. So what just figured out was if we could mash the information from the analytics site and merge it and combine it with the opportunities uh, that's coming out from Salesforce, we can provide an opportunity as a smash up to improve the effectiveness of sales and marketing. Let's go an actual demo. Here's a Presto web page, homepage. I'm looking at all the different services, mashups, and mashlets available. I'm going to switch over to Wires, which is a visual composer for creating mashups in Presto. I'm going to look for a service called Top Company Analytics, that one, and drag and drop it. And what this is, is this is the one that goes to the uh, website analytics and gets that information. As you can see, there's three different inputs for that. Uh, number of number of companies. I'm going to add that as an input and <coughs> change the name to maximum or uh, number of companies. The second input I want to select is the date range. So I'm going to select the first one and we name it to search from date. And the third input is going to be the second date, which is going to be renamed to search to date. So now we have a company analytics service that I'm going to invoke and get data back based on different companies that's visiting our site. I'm going to now drag and drop a block called company aliases. This is basically a mashup that uh, matches uh, company names. For example, we could have Microsoft Business Solutions shown on our website analytics, whereas in our Salesforce account, it could be named as Microsoft. So this mashup simply does a matching. So I'm going to rename that to match company names. It takes one input, which is a document or a company XML table. So I'm going to connect the output of the website analytics to that. And now you can see two columns that have uh, you know, translations of names from one to the other. Now I'm going to bring in Salesforce. I am looking for Salesforce login. So I'm going to bring up that service. And now I see that the Salesforce login, um, I'm going to rename that to login to Salesforce. And it has two inputs um, so that we can know who is logging into Salesforce to get that information for themselves. And those are typically the sales reps. Now I'm going to find a service called Opportunity Finder. This is the one that does the heavy lifting of once you're logged into Salesforce, I'm going to pass that information, which is a response that I get from Salesforce to that mashup. And I'm going to connect the matching tables, company tables to that. It takes these two inputs and goes to Salesforce and finds all the matching opportunities that exist out there. Now I'm just going to run this to see what kind of data is coming back. So this is how you can iteratively test when you're building a mashup by actually interacting with data right there. 
Um, so you can see that there's a number of different records coming back with different status for whether we have an account or not for that particular web uh, visitor, how many pages did they hit, and how many opportunities do we have, etc. So I'm going to connect that to the output, save this mashup, and give it a name. Let's see, let's call it get uh, let's call it Salesforce Opportunity Mashup. So it's basically mashing web analytics data from Lead Lander with Salesforce opportunities. Uh, so that the we get a better idea of how to pursue uh, these opportunities. So I can select a provider. Um, it's just indicating uh, different types of uh, providers there. You can tag this so that it will be easy for you to find later if you want and also share it. And once you're done with this part of creating a mashup, I'm just going to click on OK and save it. So now the mashup has been saved. I'm going to publish it so others can use it. So once it's published, you can't edit it until you uh, bring it back to edit mode again. Now I'm going to do a cool thing. This is how do you want to share it with as what we call the mashlet, which is a mashup fronted by a widget. So I just picked the same service, which is a mashup, Salesforce Opportunity Mashup. I select the table form. There's a number of different ways you can visualize it. And move the name over here, uh, increase the size of the name column, sort it by ascending maybe. So now you can see there's quite a good set of information that we got just by merging or, or mashing information from these two different data sources. I'm going to give a name to this mashlet and save it. And now you can actually click on this link and go see what the mashlet looks like on a simple HTML web page. So the same table is going to execute the service, get the results back and so on. So now the cool thing is this mashlet can now be shared. So let me do one thing, let me go to a Oracle portal. Uh, Here is a basic portal server uh, running Oracle portal server. I'm going to go click on one of these portlets and customize it to bring the Salesforce master that we just created. So there it is, Salesforce Opportunity Mashlet. Select the properties, everything looks fine. Preview it, it does a live execution right there, and save it, and you're done. So there you go. You brought the same mashlet into an existing Oracle portal without having to do much. It's just right there. And uh, this is extremely powerful because you're not really ripping and replacing anything. Let me show you another thing. I'm going to open up this new, uh, what we call mash board in Presto. It comes as part of Presto. And this basically is a dynamic dashboard where I can drag and drop different uh, mashlets that's been created by Presto, in Presto, by you, by others, all the users in, in it. So I'm going to drag and drop that. So you see the Salesforce Opportunity Mashup already there. Just for fun, I'm going to pick a few random ones. Xignite, which is another web service that's been in work right now. And you see a visual of that. So basically what this is demonstrating is that you can deliver the same mashlet to different places. Now I'm going to take you to another page which actually is a mashup application that uses the same underlying mashup but provides a much more nicer UI. So here as you recall the same three inputs number of companies date from and date to you run the service uh, invoke the day, you know, mashup and what you get back is a bunch of results and you can see that 
where you see the red access means we don't have an account for them. Green, green check marks say we have an account for them. And where there's more data, we can actually go to Salesforce and get more data. And this provides a lot of visibility to our Salesforce uh, salespeople so that they can actually perform their job better. And that's the end of this demo. Please visit our website and download Presto and give it a spin. Thank you.